Hello everybody and welcome to my sixth Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to move away from layers and I'm going to start showing you how to use the brush tool. So the brush tool is situated here on the tools bar on the left hand side uh, and if you just click on this and then it's going to give you a brush that you can draw with. Uh, the, the default setting is just kind of your normal kind of paint brush and if, if you can't figure out how to use that then you probably shouldn't be using Photoshop. But um, there's a lot more you can do with paintbrushes than just, you know, drawing a kind of blank lines. So let's just get rid of that with my eraser. Um, and the way you do this is with your options up here. So this is where you're going to spend most of your time when you're looking at paintbrushes. And the first thing you want to do is click on here. And this is your different types of brush so you've got the size of your brush so you can change the size of it here uh, and you've also got the hardness now the hardness is probably easier to show you so when I'm normally drawing like this it's just kind of straight flat lines nothing special if I change the hardness down so let's put it to 75% and we start drawing with this you notice that the edges are going a little bit more fuzzy uh, and if we change the hardness down quite a lot more, so let's put a 25%, and then it's getting pretty, a lot more fuzzy there. Uh, and if you change it all the way down to 0%, then it's really fuzzy. Now, this not is not the most amazing in black. In black, it just looks kind of smudgy. If you actually click on your color chooser down here uh, and check it, click a more colourful colour and you'll be able to start, let's go for a nice uh, red and you'll be able to see that this is kind of now creating quite nice light looking colours rather than all kind of spray painty uh, and you can really see the difference between, so if I put the hardness right back up the difference between a hard stroke and a light stroke. Now the next thing along uh, our blending options which I'm not going to go through yet because I um, it, it, that, that'll be a whole tutorial you had similar options to what you have with layers and to achieve similar results and uh, you've also then got your opacity which just changes how see for it is so if I change this down to 50% and I select a blue say and I put it over here, it's not actually going to just write, it's not going to draw with a blue straight away because my opacity is lower down. So it's going to overlap it uh, with a purple first of all, and then the more overlaps I do, the closer it's going to get to the right, that colour I want. So this is useful when you want to just put some colour over a picture, and it's going to be really important when we use our kind of blending options in the coming tutorial. You've also got your flow. This dictates the amount of um, how regularly it kind of paints to the screen. So if I turn the flow down, and this is easier to see with a hard brush. Let's make sure we want a hard brush. Opacity at full. Uh, and then if I go across the screen, you'll see now that it's not doing my brush stroke straight away every time it's having a little day de a delay in between uh, and this looks messy on a hard brush if I change to a, a softer brush by changing my hardness down you actually see that this has the effect of making it a bit fainter but if I go slower and over it then it's going to make it harder so this is quite good when you're doing your normal drawings uh, if you're painting kind of from scratch because you can go fast when you don't want it to be loads of colour but if you want it to be lots of colour you just go a bit slower and do it harder the same way you would with a normal brush with a normal brush you kind of do some kind of dry brushing like this and then if you wanted to do some kind of better details you could go in with a smaller brush and do it a bit slower so those are your, your main basics of your brush and uh, we're going to go into the blending modes in the next tutorial 
Uh, and then in the tutorial after that, we'll go into the different brush presets and how you can create your own brush presets. So if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. And thanks for listening. And I hope to catch you in the next tutorial after you've pressed the subscribe button.